Today we're going to make a remote control holder for the couch or sofa or chair. We need two pieces of fabric, 12 inches by 30 inches, and we need two pieces of fabric for the pockets, and those need to be 12 inches by 16 inches. Our first thing to do is work with the pockets. So I have my 12 inch by 16 inch pocket here. The first thing I want to do is fold it in half. I want to keep the 12 inch width. The 16 inch is going to actually become an 8, so we're going to fold that in half. So now we have a piece that's 12 inches by 8 inches. I need to go press this, and then with this folded seam, I'm going to do a top stitch straight across. I'll do that with both pieces. I've top stitched both of the pockets. Let's put one to the side for a moment. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure up 9 inches from the bottom of my uh, other fabric. My 9 inch mark is right here. I'm going to mark that on both sides. I'm going to draw a line across there because we're going to need that line. Alright, what we're going to do is I'm going to take this pocket and I'm going to face it. Raw edge is facing away from me. I have it right up against that line and I'm going to stitch on that line. A quarter inch seam right across. I've stitched that raw edge. Now I'm going to fold that up and I'm going to iron that down. This is our top pocket. Now we need to work with our bottom pocket. So here's my bottom edge. I'm going to grab the other pocket and I'm going to face it raw edges down. The other one we did the other way. This one we're doing raw edges down. Down at the edge. Let's go ahead and stitch a quarter inch seam right there. Alright, so we have both of our pockets. Go ahead and pin these pockets or uh, use a clip or something to hold these pockets down because we're going to sew the whole thing together now. So take the other fabric. We're going to face it right side down against those pockets. And then we're going to stitch all the way around this, uh, all four sides, but we're going to leave some space for turning. Make sure you get these pinned down though, because if the pockets uh, slip, you're going to have to do a little extra work. So get those pinned down first, then go ahead and uh, pin your backing on. Okay, stitch all the way around it. We'll be right back. All right, I've pressed that. Now I need to close the section where we turned. I did mine up at the top. Pre make sure you have pressed that pretty sharply. Turn make sure you've turned under your quarter inch. We're going to go all the way around this entire piece with an eighth, eighth, oh, between an eighth and a quarter inch, a top stitching all the way around. Make sure you grab the spot wherever it was you turned. Um, we'll also do down the sides too, um, on the pockets too, that quarter to eighth inch. Do that all the way around, and then we'll be right back. All right, I've gone all the way around it with a top stitch. Now we need to divide up our pockets for our uh, controllers. I'm going to put my husband's tablet down in the bottom. Um, probably not that way. Probably that way. Oh, perfect fit. I don't need to do anything there. So let's move up to the next pocket. Now, if you have several controllers, you may want to go ahead and uh, put them in the bottom pocket as well, but I think I just need this pocket for me. I just need to lay my controllers to decide what size. I, we only have two. Um, I think I'm just going to put them over on this side. You want to leave about, oh, a half an inch on each side when you make your pocket. So I'm going to leave uh, probably that much and probably a little bit over here too. Um, and then just draw a line. Actually, I have uh, lines on my fabric already. I'm just going to use one of these lines for my pocket uh, section. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, stitch right on up. I'm going to use one of those lines. Otherwise, use your ruler or whatever it is you're using and draw your lines. You just take a straight stitch right on up. All right, looks like that one's going to fit nicely. So um, on this one, I'm going to do the same. I'm going to leave that space. I'm going to stitch right here, but I'm going to have to do a little cutoff stitch. I'll show you what I mean in just a moment. All right, so I made the pocket for this, but if I put it in here, I'm going to lose it down in there. So I want it to stick out a little bit. So I'm going to actually have to do like a little uh, extra stitch here. If it sticks out that much, then I'll just draw my line right across here. All right, and then I'm going to just go stitch that line. Okay, so our big one fits. Our smaller one fits with a little bit sticking out. Um, if you have a couple more controllers, go ahead and divide that up more. Um, I don't have any more. Maybe we'll use that for like a magazine or something he might have. Stick this in the bottom. And there you go. You have a remote control holder.
for your couch, sofa, love seat, chair, even bed.